Night Side Project. Finish the day happy, happy with Ethan Millard and Alex Keery on KSL News Radio. Bine ați venit la Night Side Project, Ethan Millard cu Alex Keery. Vă mulțumesc că ascultați la Night Side Project. Cum avem Zen Headlines? Oh, thank you so much for that introduction. That was Romanian, if anyone cares. I thought it was pretty offensive, some of the things you said about women just now. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, the Nightside Project is a is an exclusive feature of, oh no, uh, the Zen Headlines are an exclusive <laughs> feature of the Nightside Project. The, Night, the Nightside Project is an exclusive feature of us. Do you know how long it's been since I opened my mouth and said a word in Romanian? Uh, now about 10 seconds. Oh, it's been months. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I went, uh, yeah rusty. Well, I know. The accent, gonna, was, the accent was rusty. Who's going to speak uh, Romanian with uh, me? Forte bine. Forte bine. Remember I made you... So these people were scamming us in a parking lot one time. They were gypsies. They were yeah, gypsies. From Romania, yeah. That's not a... Gr- that's. You can say that in 2017. They you? were Roma. Pardon me. They're so Roma. They're Roma. That's more yeah. appropriate. So straight up, the guy's like, blah, blah, blah. I'm from Romania. We need help. And I was like... So what did I do? I go, hold on, just a second. It's on a Sunday. I call <laughs> Ethan up. I'm all, Ethan, what are you doing here? He's, he's like, what? What, what? What's going on? I was like, I got these people. <laughs> they say they're from Romania. I need you to talk to the guy because they're acting like they need like uh, all, all this, this money help, and yeah. all this help. And Ethan gets on the thing. He starts going back and forth with the guy. They're speaking on the phone. The, uh, the guy hands the phone back to me, and Ethan's all, yeah, those guys are scamming you. <laughs> like, he's just, like, full on. Yeah, well, I could guys, tell. These I, guys are faking it, man. I could tell how annoyed he was that I spoke Romanian because they were using the language yeah, it was barrier. Bre- yeah, it was breaking all of his game. You know, they because they, they had a child with them, and, you know, they were using the language barrier to kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. elicit. And uh, it's probably in most areas – in most areas – uh, you can probably get away with it because you're going to find so few Romanian speakers. It's probably harder to do like with Spanish and things like that. But in Romanian, you could probably do it all day long, except here in the Salt Lake area where, guess what? Random people are going to speak Icelandic yeah, yeah. and Romanian. No, at least and... 50% of the population speaks an Eastern Bloc language. It's crazy. <laughs> There's at least four out of four out of five people on the street speak Russian. <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. It's just part of it. They're everywhere. Okay. All right. Uh, you got, got a Zen headline. You've got a Zen headline for me. Features uh, heavily uh, a video food. here. No, 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 oh, no. Food. There's no. There's no video. Okay, I wanted good. to bring this to your attention. Uh, we'd like to thank Jake Packer. Jake Packer hit, teed this up on Twitter for us. He used the hashtag Zen headline, and he is absolutely right. I'm going to show you right here the graphic from the Oreo, the My Oreo Creation Contest. So not how you dunk it. Because they had nope. the how you dunk it. Yeah, they had the how you dunk it, and they had the they had the basketball player that did the rap. Yeah, who? Uh, the guy that can't golf. <laughs> Chuck, uh, or the Chuck guy Barkley. that can't hit. Charles Barkley. The, no, 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 not that guy. Shaq. The guy that can't hit the free throws. Yeah, Shaq. The professional basketball player who never hit a free it was throw. Shaq, bro. Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, this is something different. So Oreo is ready to pay you a half a million dollars if you come up with a new Oreo cookie creation. That they can sell. That they can then turn around and ba- look. Anything Oreo does, people just buy it. I mean, yeah. even the most absurd one. I mean, I could start naming flavors, and you could just be like, "Oh yeah, that, yeah, I could see that being an Oreo flavor." Because they've tried everything. You and I have both eaten the watermelon ones. It's got the yellow yeah, cookie I never with liked like the, the pink. fruit. No, the, the fruit, fruit was, ones are terrible. Yeah, dude, do you remember when they they actually had the. They had the guts, and they're basically just making fun of us. Yeah. When they just put out flavors and go, look how fat these people are we sell our Oreos to. And they're looking at me. And they're all, look, this guy will buy anything. Watch. And there's a hidden camera just to see the crap that I will buy. And they made a Hawaiian punch one. Do you remember this? Yeah, I do. They made the freaking Hawaiian I do. punch one. They made the Swedish fish one. It's a Hawaiian punch you in the face cookie is That's what it exactly, is. exactly. And it tastes like garbage, And the, but you could you tell yourself, yeah, I could kind of see it. Yeah, okay. Two runners up. Two runners up will get $25,000 each, and the grand prize winner will win $500,000. Now, here's the deal, though, is that they're looking not just for new cookies. They're also looking for other ideas for, you know, using Oreo or Oreo-related things. So, for example, if you came up with an Oreo pancake recipe mm. or an Oreo pancake mix, f- as an example, that could be something that you could enter. Okay, so. right now, off the top of your head, make an Oreo flavor. Uh, you know what? I was thinking about this, and if I had to do it, I would do a cannabis Oreo. Just to kind of capture that... That like, kind of movement. 
That would be my submission. That kind of movement? Well, I'm going to go straight down that vein, too, literally. And I'm just I gonna... feel you don't feel like that would be one that would get no, people's that attention. No, that's okay. That's the gateway one to get them to mine, which is just straight up heroin Oreo. <laughs> Black tar heroin Oreo. Like and and here's the thing. It gets you the cannabis one gets you da- yeah. It gets you to the point where you've used drugs. Yeah, and now you're trying the heroin one and at that particular moment you are then addicted to Oreos for life. Well, you can't afford the Oxy Oreos. So That's you gotta... that way too expensive. So uh, and now and so and then, look, I don't mean I don't see. No, I know. You, no, we're not making light of this. Well, because but, then it, because I'm calling on Nabisco right now to give us cookie alternatives to the dangerous drugs. No, I'm that telling you right us. now, their heroin Oreo can only be can only be something if they will put together Nabisco rehab centers, okay? Mm. Across the country, Nabisco, is that who makes it? Mondelez International. Uh, that sounds Yeah, I'm sure that's uh, that's so probably look, correct. Mondelez International and Nabisco rehab centers that treat not just Oreo addicts and not just black tar heroin Oreo addicts. <laughs> Look, this sounds bad. This is not a bad idea, though. No, it's a great idea. And what's more is even if you even if you don't get picked for one of the top three prizes, Oreo just will be choosing different submissions, even ones that aren't big winners, and they'll do a little small run of the idea oh, and send nice. it to you. Like as a surprise. They're not doing it with everyone, uh, but cool. some entries, some entrants will be surprised with receiving their actual cookie idea in the flesh. Can we can you vape an Oreo? Well, see, this is the kind of idea is there an that e, I think they're looking for. Is there an for. e Oreo that we could get involved with? I think this is exactly what I think they're looking okay. for. E Oreos and vape vaping Oreos, and instead of that cloud of white smoke that comes out, it's, what is it's it? It's black and white smoke. So, so people know, hey, it's an Oreo. It's cookies and cream. Yes. Yeah. No, no I th- but really I off the top of your head, really off the top of your head, what would be an Oreo flavor that like you could get behind? Uh, you know, I, I would want to look for something that's like particularly exotic and like maybe even I would want them to incorporate some kind of meat. I thought I was going to get a, I thought I was going to get a serious answer out of you. And that is a serious answer. You ready for mine? Yeah. And you use all the different colors, but it's basically the same flavor. Uh, let's hear it. I want Fruit Loop Oreos. Okay, <clears throat> so the middle are the Fruit Loop, that Fruit Loop flavor, and you have and you have and they're all the different flavors. Okay. Yes, and they're all the different flavors because when you dip that thing in milk, you get a cereal thing going on. I okay? see that. Yeah, yeah. Well, then why not? Well, hold on a minute though. Hold on a minute. But hold on, pause, because this is really, really brilliant. They ought to start doing a cereal line of Oreos. Okay. So, for example, cinnamon toast crunch Oreo. Oh, who wouldn't? Gosh, why didn't I come up with that? Who wouldn't buy that all day long? In the very middle, it's got just, it tastes exactly like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So we've got cannabis, some kind of savory meat, (laughs) Cinnamon Toast Crunch. (laughs) All right. And then to just be real foodie about it, the Bon Mi Oreo. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. So just just all the foodies get involved somehow. Pork belly. Just foie gras in the middle of your day. No, foie Oreo. gras. There it is. Foie gras. Gross. I think we've arrived. We've arrived. All right. Thanks, Jake, for teeing up this great Zen headline. If you've got a Zen headline to share with us, use the hashtag Zen headline. Milk was a bad choice. <laughs> Get ready to dunk that foie gras Oreo. It's coming to store shelves near you. If we've got anything to say about it, we'll see you next time. <laughs>